Welcome at 07 Citizens, Black here from Casa Black Gaming, and today I'm back with an all new review for the Drake Vulture, which is currently the only solo salvaging ship in the verse. Now if you find this video useful or need more guides, reviews, or even vehicle loadouts, then please consider subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and also commenting because I'm very active in the comment section, answering many questions, and always down for some good ship talk. I also offer up additional help by way of my Discord channel, which is more of a place to help players with direct questions to have further conversations about the game and ships that we all love. Anyway, with the intro out of the way, let's go ahead and get to this Honest Ship review. So first here on the screen are the stats for the Vulture, which is labeled as a single seat salvage ship made by Drake. The Vulture comes with two size 1 pilot controlled hardpoints, which are more to ward off smaller attackers than to stand and fight against most other ships that might come your way looking for trouble. There is also two size 1 salvaging heads, which come with the abraid and scent scrapers by default, at least for now until salvaging receives some sort of additional components, which I fully expect in a tier 1 or tier 2 salvaging pass sometime in the future. Some players have bought the trawler salvaging heads that are for the reclaimer, since those can scrape faster and in larger areas, but I have not tried this myself and this could be phased out in the future. As far as missiles go, the Vulture does not come equipped with any. The ship dimensions are 33 meters in length, 9 meters across its beam in width, and then 16 meters in height due to it having two decks, the cockpit and living deck on the top, and then a cargo deck on the bottom. The crew size is one, but you can have someone tag along and sit in the bed if you want a person to handle the cargo while you salvage in the seat. The combat speed is 165 meters per second. The max speed is 1114 meters per second. So not the fastest ship, which is to be expected with an industrial vessel. The cargo is 12 SCU, but you are able to hold more as I will show you later in this video. And the ship claim time at the ASOP terminal is nine minutes, which can of course be brought down to two minutes and 45 seconds for around 3000 credits if you cannot wait. The ship components are two size one shields, two size one coolers, two size one power plants, and then one size one quantum drive. There are 26 thrusters for stabilization and maneuverability, making it easy to maneuver around your salvaging quarry, and there is one size one hydrogen fuel tank and one size one quantum fuel tank. So for many ships, this is a real concern for some of the ship owners and can determine if they in fact use the ship daily or decide to go with something different that they might find more convenient to get in and out of. And so I include the time it takes to enter a ship for those owners who want to weigh that into their decision. The Drake Vulture actually has two ways to enter the ship, which I like and which comes in handy. The first way is the rear entrance near the cargo area, which is in the back. Thanks, Jared. Now going from when you hit the button and then also closing the hatch behind you, because remember, 318 has made pirating the life for many. Yo ho ho, a pirate life for thee. And so I can promise you that there are nefarious citizens out there who will jack your Anyway, making your way from the back ramp up the ladder and through the doors and into your seat to where you can control the ship will take you close to 30 seconds, so that is something to keep in mind. Now the front ladder, which takes you right to the cockpit, only takes you about 18 to 20 seconds, and believe me, if you're coming under fire, those 10 seconds can really matter. The Vulture actually has some very decent living quarters, something the Cutlass series of ships could use. To begin with, you get a full-size bunk with Drake's own tried-and-true tested composite mattress that has been tested by professional haulers. No word on what those composite materials are or where they're sourced, but with it being Drake, you are probably best not knowing. You also get a closet bathroom which has a door, which again is something some ships cannot all say. The interior also sports some countertops that we might one day be able to put items on, like a coffee maker, which to me would be the real amenity I would need if I were a salvager. You will also find the ship components conveniently tucked away behind panels. Now, why am I mentioning this? Well, we believe in 319, if all goes to plan, they are adding the ability for players to be able to remove components from other ships and either sell them or replace your own components with upgrades instead of spending money on them in the stores. Anyway, moving on to the rest of the ship. Down 
the ladder you go, which takes you to the lower deck, you will find the salvaging cargo area where your salvage scrap is converted into recycled material composite, or RMC for short, and put into one SCU boxes, which you can then snap to the grids on the ship, which is a new feature with 318. Now there are only six snappable grids on this ship, which you can stack these boxes too high, making for the stated 12 SCU of cargo space. But with the extra space on the side, you are able to fit additional boxes, and with the space in front of the RMC converter, you can put up to 24 or 25 boxes. Keep in mind that if you decide to add boxes off the grid, you can run the risk of boxes either falling through your ship or jiggling around and causing a cascading catastrophic event which could take out your ship. But I and others regularly add more and make it back safely without incident. The risk is about medium range I say, but the profits can be close to double and if you have found a nice haul to salvage and just hate the idea of leaving with 12 or 14 boxes, then I would give it a try. I do not go for more than 22 or 23 boxes myself as it takes more time to position them than I think it's worth, plus the risk definitely goes up after 22, so that's my advice on that, to each their own. Now the Vulture has a three paint pack you can purchase or you can purchase each one individually. There is the assembly paint which is a red and white scheme that looks pretty much like a medical ship. Then there is the carbon eye paint which is gray and white with stripes going down the salvaging arm which looks cool and industrial. And then the Longhorn paint which is gray and orange with stripes again going down the salvaging arms. The Longhorn is the one I purchased but I only had it for a day before a 318 bug made it disappear so I'm looking forward to 318.1 when I hopefully get it back because that industrial yellow is quite dull. Now the Drake seemingly just has a single role, that being of course salvaging, and while it's a great little salvager, you could also use it for some daily driver roles and other professions such as delivery missions or investigative missions, and even to go out to derelict outposts if you know what you're doing. Now I would advise against using it for much combat as those salvaging arms do come off quite easily and the maneuverability of the Vulture is not the best, but for some monitor missions or even the first tier or two of bounties, you can handle those if you choose to do so and are careful. With its cargo hatch in the back, you are able to load up some ground vehicles such as the PTV, STV, Hover Quad, Nox, Dragonfly, etc. The rock does not fit, and with the Cyclones, you're able to fit them on the ship fine, but getting out of your vehicle and getting up to the cockpit is a problem with the wheels blocking your exit. So I wouldn't use those unless you have someone else with you who doesn't mind sitting in it while you fly. So as you can see, the Vulture can be quite versatile for an industrial specific vehicle. The Vulture is not missing any features except for the ability to salvage larger pieces which looks like it's coming probably with 320 later this year. Other than that it's a fully capable and functioning salvager working as intended for the most part. The Vulture as of now comes well geared. With the weapons it comes with the best which are laser repeaters and since you cannot upgrade the size, those are the best left as is unless you just wanted to upgrade to the slower firing, more powerful laser cannons, but most people will not switch to those. Now for which exact components I would recommend and where to find them you can check out my Vulture loadout video which I will link at the end of this video which has some useful graphics to help you easily plan out and find which shops you can visit to make getting your ship upgraded as fast as you want. For the rest of the ship components, other than the weapons, you will definitely want to upgrade the shields and quantum drive first, and maybe the power plants. Basically, a single load of 12 SCU of salvage will more than pay for your upgrades if you choose to swap everything but the coolers, so not too bad on your return of investment as this ship will keep on giving. So now the first part of this video has been mostly facts, now we come to the part where it's more subjective and although I try not to really push my opinion too much on others, I will give my take coming from a reasonable honest place, trying to avoid hyping things just for the sake of hype. The Drake Vulture lacks originality, in particular the Vulture looks like a direct ripoff of the EVE mining ship the Venture. Vulture, Venture, the names are almost similar in everything. Now I'm not a fan of a design being so similar and seeming to be ripped off, but I can also see that the design itself 
itself makes sense, especially for salvaging. So while I wish it looked more different, I think the forks in the front are probably a very logical way to do this job. So I give them a pass on this. Now, some might say that the Scorpius being so similar to the X-Wing in Star Wars is another example of a ripoff. But to me, the Scorpius is more of an homage versus this almost seemingly direct ripoff, but whatever. I do like the look of the Vulture regardless, and overall, I think it's not beautiful, but has a functional design. And I'm a huge fan of the ladder entrance in the front and even the overall look inside as well. The interior to me is the only place I get those Drake vibes, especially more so with the Corsair interior, which makes sense since these two ships were worked on simultaneously, with the teams pretty much overlapping both of these ships about the same time in development. Now, I would like to see a MISC salvager though, but I know there are way more other priorities than another salvager, but a mid-sized salvaging ship would be nice to see. So how does the Drake Vulture handle and fly? Is it fun? Well, it handles slightly better than expected. It is sluggish in Atmo, which is to be expected. I feel like it's a little too sluggish for its size than it should be. It turns better than expected and is more responsive than the Prospector feels to me anyway, especially when coming into a station or when maneuvering around your salvaging targets. It's not fun to fly and not meant to be, but I definitely felt at ease and enjoyed flying it without some of my typical gripes about too much nose dip, which you will find on other Drake ships like the Cutlass. Now, one of the biggest bugs that is still going on with salvaging in general, and not just limited to the Vulture, is the salvaging being stuck at 0% and not going up. Now, a relog seems to be the best way to fix this for now, and I do see on the 318.2 patch notes that they think they have it fixed, so here's hoping not long after this video goes out that it will be resolved. Other than that, I did not experience any bugs that caused me any issues in particular. Alright, so this is the category that means different things to different people and the best that I can do is offer up my own opinion on why I think it either is or is not worth the real money price or grind in game. And I do try to keep in mind that a great many people truly watch what they spend and so I like to find reasons to justify something's worth, especially in comparison to similarly priced ships that might be close in the same category if possible. With the Drake Vulture not really having any options in this category, there is nothing to compare it with except maybe the Prospector. If you want to salvage, you cannot wait for the ship to be made purchasable in game, which will not happen until late summer 2023 at the earliest, you have to buy it with real money. Now it is priced similarly to the Prospector, so you're getting about the same ship functions as that ship, although I believe this ship has more functionality than the Prospector with that rear cargo bay which is in the back, so to me the Vulture is the better value. Now once the Vulture is available in game, I expect it to sell for around 2 million credits or so, which will be a worthy price because of all of the millions this ship will make you over its lifetime. Now one thing I want to mention here is that when starting from a day one wipe, this ship can have you up and making money without any upgrades so you can literally sign in on a wipe day and have over 100,000 credits within your first hour of playing with no components or special heads to buy to make it worthwhile. Just get into the verse and go. That to me makes salvaging better than mining in that there is no startup cost, at least not yet, and also during 318 stability issues with many mission types having been messed up, salvaging was a definite go-to moneymaker while others were failing at other missions like bunkers because of broken quests, so also something to consider here. Alright, so here we are at how I think this ship could be improved or things I would love to see changed if I could come in and wave a magic wand and have all the ship folks do my bidding. Now, I think the imperative need is better floodlights to light up the salvaging you are trying to see, especially in space where a piece of debris or the ship can be in darkness. And also with the scraped pattern sometimes being very tiny, it can be hard to see what needs to be salvaged versus what has been scraped already. The Reclaimer's lights are like a second sun, yet the Vulture's only light up the salvaging forks in the very front. Now, other than that, I think the ship is perfect as is, but I would like more paint jobs and the ability to name mine. Maybe something cool like Cybones or Day Grinder. Something better, I don't know.
And that is going to do it for this ship review of the Drake Salvager, the Vulture. Now I've spent a lot of time salvaging and I've put out a video on some salvaging tips. So if you're looking for some more help, that video is out there as well on my channel. Overall, I think the ship is probably too good to be a Drake ship as it works really well and to me does not quite fit into their normal pirating role, but salvaging can be a pirated thing to do. So yeah, I guess there is that. You can also check out Astro Pub's History of the Vulture, which will shed more light on the history of this ship. Anyway, I look forward to seeing all of my vulture flock on the sidelines during in-game events like Xenothreat and Ninetales. And thanks for watching, and remember to be kind to your fellow gamer. Let's not fight over the scraps, guys. There's plenty for everyone. And stay positive, citizens.